Hello YouTube, welcome to this next installment of the Tech Nerd. Now, Tech Nerd, we're going to take a bit of a, a detour from the usual sort of technology look seasons and, and stuff like that and we're going to go to something else of mine. Now, some of you that do know me know that I'm quite an avid shooter, knife collector and such like that. Um, I do love my technology but I also like uh, whatever you want to call them, manly pursuits or knife collecting, uh, tools, things like that. I, I'm very much into that and I really enjoy um, something called EDC, which is everyday carry. I do on my blog post uh, a, a weekly EDC because I change my EDC loadout pretty often. Um, you will notice that I make use of multi-tools such as the Leathermans and such because they are great for me to use in my environment at work. Um, I do work in IT as an engineer um, so I don't often get to use them but when the need arises when I need to change a server rack item or something within a, 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 a server rack or whatever the case may be I use the multi-tool for most parts or if I need to get to something inside a laptop whatever the case may be I don't often work on machines anymore I tend to spend more of my time um, let's say designing and implementing large-scale networks and infrastructure so more network routing, switching firewalls, that sort of stuff. But anyway, back onto the topic for today. Today we're going to talk about my EDC knives. And in particular, I'm going to chat briefly about my intro to knives because I'm going to start a new series on my EDC loadout. Um, but for this particular video, I actually want to be reviewing a South African brand of knife called Honey Badger, which I came across about two months ago in a knife shop. Um, I've since fallen in love with the brand and really enjoy using their knives and carrying their knives every day. But just to give you a bit of background about me, I'm not a knife snob by any means. I have various knives which I enjoy. This little guy here being a nice little sort of pocket knife, uh, quite large, etc. Um, I like knives. I, I carry various knives. Another one I keep on me in the day is this little crafty. It's actually quite a lacquer little Stanley knife vibe thing, so when you want to open boxes and stuff, you sort of can use it. And the nice thing is you can throw it away once the blade gets dulled um, without worrying about replacing the knife. I have a fairly large collection of knives. Uh, let's just go to another one over here. I don't carry this one very often. Uh, we've got this guy over here. This is a Boca. Also a really decent knife. Nice to carry. I haven't carried it much for a while. It's a... Uh, that assisted opening, spring opening knife, really decent, nice for EDC carry if you like the black handle. Uh, let's just see what else I got on me over here. No, I don't carry them all at once usually, but I'm sort of clipped them to myself for the purpose of this video. Here we have another really nice knife in the stonewash black sort of look. This is actually a really great EDC knife, which I'll make a video about in the not too distant future. Uh, this is a Kershaw. Mm, pretty nice. I like the look of that blade and I'm actually thinking of utilizing that look and making maybe making it on some of my other knives but we'll see how things go. Um, let's just go in the pocket see what else we got over here. Knives, knives everywhere. Um, you know, Spyderco, another nice blade to have. Uh, very useful for carrying around with you or whatever the case may be. But the knife in question for today is none other than the Honey Badger. Now I chose it in blue. I'm a fan of blue, blue and green, but for knives I wanted blue so that I could find it easily if I misplace it or whatever the case may be. And the thing about this knife is the overall quality of it. I purchased it at the same time that I purchased, where is this one now that I'm looking for when I need it most? This guy. Now this is a little M Tech, cheapy, but not a bad knife actually to carry around with you. Quite solid, um, but it's it's sort of been relegated to the uh, bag or uh, my, my sort of bug out bag. But anyway, back onto the Honey Badger. This has been my EDC for about a month. I only recently, a week ago, changed to the Spider Co. But I will now be going probably back to uh, another Honey Badger knife which I received yesterday by a courier. Quality of these knives, we will put it on the bench just now, is outstanding for what you spend on them. It's the, the clip, everything, everything about them is just, it feels nice and solid. And the best part is this opening mechanism is ridiculous. Now I've got them in HCR13 MOV. It's a steel I'm used to sharpening and working with. But it just, yeah, if you just take a closer look at these knives, you'll understand 
what I'm talking about. Everything about them is just great. I mean, this one's been carried quite a bit. The knife's a little bit uh, oily and finger marks, etc. But I mean, that that motion, ridiculous. It's, it's it's so smooth. And there's a lot of little things about the knife that make it so great to use. Um, this is the large. For me, the large fits nicely in my hand. So you're cutting something or you know whatever you need to do. It's there. It's close at hand. And it, this is a comfortable size for me. I would think that the smaller ones are also quite nice. Uh, but for my hand size, this one works great. And I do like bigger blades when I carry. Um, as mentioned, this was my first honey badger. This is sort of the full bellied drop point blade. Um, the new one is a Wernclyff or however you would pronounce that um, sort of design blade. But we'll take a look at that one on the bench after we take a look at this one. So I'm going to put the two honey badgers on the bench and we're going to talk about them. Close up, show you guys some close ups, show you all the things I love about it, why I love it. It comes pretty sharp out of the box. But anyway, let's get onto the bench and take a closer look at these guys so you can see what it is that made me sort of let's say appreciate and fall in love with this brand of pocket knife for edc carry hey guys so please ex excuse the extremely crude sort of studio i got going over here um i don't have a lot in the way of equipment for doing this sort of videos so i sort of make do with what i have so yeah we have the honey badger let's see if we can get in a little bit closer so there you have it up close and personal. So one of the things you'll notice is this jumping over here. This is really cool. Another thing you'll notice is the overall finish of the knife. Everything about it is just nice. You'll see there's jumping on the little lever over there to help you when you're opening the knife. Everything is just done so nicely. This hole, you'll notice how the edges are sort of rounded so it doesn't hurt your finger if you open it sort of in that method of opening you'll see jumping in here so if you're holding the knife like that you get a decent grip you'll see jumping even here on this plastic scales of the knife just to help you with grip when using the knife there's so much about this thing that makes it a really spectacular everyday carry knife another thing i quite enjoy about it um, is the scales they actually grip very well when you're holding the knife um, it works very nicely. Um, the blade is nice and thick, ATR 13 MOV. Another nice thing is the opening and closing of this knife is ultra smooth, but I just wanted you guys to take a closer look at this clip. You have a look at that. That is the pocket clip. You'll notice it's a deep carry, which makes it really cool um, for hiding the knife in your pocket. People don't really know you've got this knife with you. Um, and just for adjustments and tightening, I think it's a T6 and a T8 Torx uh, bit you'd need for sort of servicing and tightening the knife, etc. Um, really nice piece of kit just to keep with you every day. And as mentioned, this, this, this whole motion is so smooth and so slick, it's just ridiculous. But now, yesterday, I received something new. And it came along with this little note. A personal note from honey badger saying thank you for supporting them now the first one i bought from a knife shop obviously honey badger doesn't know i purchased that one but this one i purchased from them online got this little note just to say dear dion thank you for supporting honey badger we hope you enjoy your new knife so yeah guys i'm sure i'm going to just so you guys can see here we have the box which arrived um you can see it, it is quite straightforward there it shows you a picture of the knife and then it's just a basic sort of honey badger box then we go inside the box and this is where the magic happens inside the box you got your little brochure showing you different honey badger knives and products um, that are available with some basic instructions and care whatever else may be there's a little bag of silica gel for keeping out the moisture it is a knife after all you get your little t6 t8 torx bit and then of course the new knife now there's something special about this knife that i wanted to tell you guys this knife over here because it was ordered from honey badger they've done something special for me on it so let's get in a little bit closer and take a look at that there you go have a look at that 
my name on the blade permanently again my name on the blade permanently and if you look at the font and everything it's done so nicely but anyway while we're so close let's have a look at this knife now as you can see again that beautiful jumping over here that just feels nice um, slightly different uh, again deep carry pocket clip very cool uh, overall again got the nice jumping on this and the nice smooth uh, cutout for if you're wanting to utilize that for opening and closing the blade like you would want a spider comb um, yeah again really really cool something i like is how this uh, main screw sort of looks on these knives um, you got the honey badger logo really really nice but the thing that catches me the most is that having my name on the knife that is so cool And that at no extra charge from Honey Badger themselves. What a pleasure. So, I haven't had much time to review this knife. But now, I have two great knives into my EDC collection. So, each day I get to choose which one I'm going to carry. And again, I will do a follow-up review. After two months of use and carry, this knife over here has not really lost its edge. Only a slight sharpening was required just to rehone the edge. But besides that, it's been a brilliant EDC knife. This one, slightly different design blade. Drop point, nice for stabbing, puncturing, opening packages. This one's nice for cutting away things where there's risks of puncturing. So it actually works really cool for that because of the blade shape. It's like a, what do they call it, a sheep's foot or whatever. Um, if you're cutting a seat belt off somebody, for example, with this, there's risk of puncturing and actually hurting that individual. Whereas with this over here, the risk of that is actually less. So you could slide it in and cut the seat belt away, for example, just as a, as a use case. But yeah, Honey Badger, thank you once again for manufacturing and supplying a brilliant knife. Um, I am also ordering a few more from them, which I will be doing a follow-up review on. And I will do a follow-up review on these knives. But I just wanted you guys to all see this new brand, South African brand called Honey Badger, and how brilliant they actually are and what the quality is like. Well done, guys. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And until next time, take care.